sluda. Hi everyone. Uh, well, here I am uh, doing my first video around street photography. Um, you might know my work on Instagram. I'm quite active on Facebook as well. And I've been asked quite a few times, why don't you do some uh, you know, videos? Why don't you go on YouTube? I do two types of street photography. The one that we're going to talk about today is the spontaneous. I just go out, take pictures, no idea of what's going to happen. The second one is more about uh, looking for characters, looking for people, people that have something a bit different. And then I will stop them and try to ask to have a portrait of them. That's interesting. Um, I get good content, but I really prefer the fast, spontaneous way, as you'll see today. I'm going to get started with some uh, point of view videos. So what I do is I install a GoPro on my camera, go in the street for about an hour. I have no idea what's going to happen. It's not stage. I just look for characters meant in a positive way, uh, attitudes, expressions, colors, see what happens, see what comes to me. I just capture it. So as I go out for an hour, I might come back with one pictures, two pictures, five pictures. I have no idea. We never know. Um, in this particular video, I don't think there is any outstanding picture, uh, but it's okay. What I want you to follow, what I want you to uh, look at is, is the process, is what is actually really happening. I go take my camera. I get really close to people. I go really fast, but I don't hide. Uh, people can see I'm taking a picture. They actually sometimes ask a question, but they ask question after I took the picture. What is important to me is actually to get these candid moments. So of course, you don't want to see um, an hour of me walking in the streets of Amsterdam, so I cut off most of the boring part and try to focus on the five, six seconds before I took a picture. So you see what's coming my way and how I approach it. And actually, because the GoPro is on the camera, you exactly see where my camera goes. And so you will see it going away from me towards the person and then I keep on walking. And, and you can see that within a half second and probably less than that, I take my picture and I move. On each episode, I will develop a specific aspect of street photography. One time it will be the technical aspect. The second one will be maybe the ethics, what you can do, what you cannot do, even though it's different in every country and it's quite personal. So in this first episode, I just want you to look at the rhythm, look at the pace it goes and think about readiness. That, that will be the key word of this, of this video. You need to be ready before the moment occurs. If you're not ready, it will go away. And there's no time to think about your focusing, about your lights, about any other settings. So your camera must be ready before you go. This is the city. It is not set. It is not staged. It's real life and it brings a different point of view than the overly processed, overly staged pictures that we have every day on our Instagram with lots of selfies, which just show uh, one aspect of, uh, of, of life. I'm asking you to subscribe. I realize I only have one video. It's a bit strange uh, to subscribe now, but uh, if you like this one, knowing that I still have lots of progress to do, you may like the second one, the third one, and so on. I would love for you to drop me a comment um, if you feel I can improve uh, this video. I know I can. It's a start. Um, let me know if the format is okay, if I should change the pace, or if you have any questions, um, I'll answer them in the comments, but also I will adapt my videos in the future.
Thank you for watching the first episode. I already have material to do a second episode. The third episode will probably be taken with the X Pro 3, which I just purchased. Some of you will be curious to know how it works and so far so good, but um, I'll keep you posted. Until then, ciao.